Welcome back, guys. Another day here at Gaijin Garage, and today I want to install some fuel pumps on the Civic hatch. But first, I gotta test it, mount it, and get it ready for that. Hey, like, hit, share, subscribe, and let's get to it, right? Again, I want to say shout out to my sponsor, MK ADM, for once. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that seats. What? If you watched my last video, you've seen the seats. Now, in the meantime, I found. Do you remember how one there? Did they clean the tank again? I found that. Let me show you how much dirt is coming out of this tank. The past three days, I've been cleaning this tank, like freshening it out. Today is fresh water. By the way, I neutralized the. Uh, but look at this chunk. These are chunks of rocks. It came out out of my, I don't know, mine, but out of the tank. Look at that. See that chunk? Look at that chunk still coming out. And all you're doing is doing this. So now, so you know, I got ready. The fuel tank is already clean. I have it ready almost to put it back. So, with that said, I have to get this right here. It's gonna be my new sending unit ready. Um, and then I knew I had an extra uh, fuel pump laying around. And I found it. So this is a Hellcat fuel pump. And mounts right on this very well, by the way. But before I put this in there, I want to put this on to a little bit of gasoline. Hit power his here the pump run before I put all the effort to it. Meantime, it's right here. I'm not going to need it, so I'm going to take it off. I'm going to sit this right here. Save this. Now, this right here, I'm going to cut it from over there. This right here. Remove it. This is basically the return um, hoses for the fuel. So the one that I took out is the main one, the one the fuel comes in. So, and pretty, pretty can rust it. Like everything else. Let me see some. All right, cool. We got garbage. Uh, what else? Is it right? Yeah. That's it. So basically, I want to get it set up. I want to show you how to test a fuel pump real quick. I want to put some um, power to the pump. As soon as I do that, and, and thing, I'm going to fix this one right here. I have to weld it, this one to the other one. And then I got to go here and take this rusty ass bolt off. Oh man. Alright. 
right. Um, oh man. Got it loose again. Woo. There we go. Woo. How bad that was. So I got that off. So now I got that. I got that the way I need it. I'm gonna put it to the side. Let me get a little bolt with some fuel in it and dust that. Be right back. All right, guys, I have a fire bucket right here that I pump into the bucket. I'm about to test it. I got my jumper box. As soon as I turn it on, whoa, the fuel pump working. So now I'm going to use a fuel pump and that and get it ready for, um, for the fuel tank. Alright guys, so I got it done here. I'm about to put the hose right here. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through. Should we pump on? So I gotta strap it here and then Put this shit tight right there, or whatever you want to call it. Dangerous times don't fly too high. Be sure to keep the ground in sight. Fly forever if you keep it tight. Love the world, but keep the sky on your mind. Good morning, folks. How you can see, it's very early in the morning. Got the tank last night, all set up like I did. <laughs> now I'm gonna bring the tank towards the back of the car. I'm gonna install the tank back on, get it ready. I got, my, I got this that I need, I got that. Oh, yeah, like this. And today, it should be running on its own power. <coughs> I got plenty of fuel here in the house, so I'm gonna load up the fuel tank with it. <coughs> Put some coolant on it, start the vehicle, let it run. And at that moment, the car should be running by itself. I can watch the temperature. The only thing is, I cannot drive it because I don't have a key, but I can turn it on without a key. But I don't have a key to unlock the steering wheel. Besides that, this baby is going to be done in a minute. 
So stay tuned. Hey guys, this is about to drink for the first time in 20 years. Make sure this time that I lift, left the vehicle up high to see if any um, leaks or anything like that will come out. Especially on the return hoses and all that. Last thing you need to do is turn this, this car on, or turn, put the battery on, and your and your pump goes dry and you run it out. So I got prepared. Filling sure up for the first time to have a tank. Okay, the reason you want to leave it open like that in the air you want to see any leaks from the tank second thing before connect the pump this i'm going to flush it out so let's see if the pump is working okay now you're going to flush the pump a couple times what you're going to do you're going to turn the key on in this case a screwdriver Woo! See everything light up. All right, guys. After you get your fuel pump, um, your lines. Let's say I turn the, the hose on. I let all the fuel, all fuel come out. Now I'm gonna change the fuel filter. Put a new one. Put power to the car so we can turn it on. Comes out like that.
take one and we turn the car on. Got a couple of things that I had to run on this car is that um, thermostat is not opening, so I'm gonna take the thermostat off, put it back on. Top hose gets real nice and hot, but I don't want it getting cold, it's still cold. So that's gonna make the car overheat, and the ready cap is not the best, so we're gonna do that too. And um, what I have to do after this is done, guys, is basically bleed the brakes and get a key so I can drive it around and see what's going on with it well, so far so good and we're gonna uh, see what happened after this so I finished the video today today the video was about the fuel injector system and I got it running or running already on its own power and we're gonna go from there peace out guys thank you for watching